So if you guys saw the thumbnail, then you know that this video right here is going to be about this Extreme Max Wheel Chalk. I purchased it off of Amazon.com. It actually, uh, I purchased it out of the used or slightly um, dinged up. And honestly, there's a couple little scratches on it, but I don't really see anything that's terrible on it. Hey, I'll have a link down in the description of this particular wheel chalk if you want to use it. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it together. It's fairly simple. I do not believe I'm gonna make this a how-to video. We'll just see how it comes out. And then I'll put my bike in it and see if it works. I figured it'd be good for me to have it. That way when I decide to do some stuff on the bike that I can have the bike sitting upright instead of on the kickstand, I can maybe strap it down or something. I've got a board that I'm gonna show you in a minute that I'll, I'm gonna eventually strap this wheel chalk to. So let's get to it. So it came with these instructions. It came with all of these screws right here. Put this bad boy together. So the screw goes in the first hole, along with the washer on the back side. And then I'm gonna put the nut with the, the nylon lock nut on the other side. Let's do the same here. You guys can see. Put it through washer and then this nylon nut these three things right there put another one screw in washer And the nut. Last one, screw, washer, nut. I'm going to go ahead and cinch these down. That cinch down real easy. So looks like I put them on backwards. All right, so this is on. You guys can see that. Uh, the black part of the screw, the head of them, I had to switch them. I started to put them on the wrong direction and I put the bolts on the outside right here. I think we're probably gonna go one, two, three. I'm gonna start off with the third one right here and see how this goes. And I'm not gonna cinch these down. I guess I'll have to test the bike first. Okay. Let's do that and then Put them on so this little angle iron bar right here has a couple screws that are welded onto it and then there's some holes right here in the front of this deal match them up real good These I'm going to cinch down because actually it just makes sense. I don't think that I'll have to move these at all. Okay. All right. So this guy's put together. Let's give it a test out. That literally took five minutes. Okay, let me show you guys how this turned out. I ended up running the screw heads, as you can see right here, on the inside, right here. So there was one, two, three, put that focus. One, two, three on this side, same on that side. And then that little angle piece right there, it already had these little guys inside of it. 
And I screwed those on with the nylon nuts. And as you can see right here, these guys are on the outside. And they're on the outside right here. This little piece right here, I'm gonna give you a piece of advice. Don't cinch it down too much, because first time I cinched these screws down too much, and it made it tight. Now here's the thing, is this comes with, focus baby, this comes with one, two, three, four little holes, and I figured out that I believe the one, two, three, third hole is gonna work best for my 2006 Fat Boy, Harley Davidson Fat Boy. I tried this hole as well, and it seemed like the bike moved more. And when I put it, when I put it in this third hole, it seemed like everything snugged up tighter. Okay, as you can see, I had to put some weights there because it was sliding it because I don't have this fastened down to this plywood over here. Kickstand up and it's doing a great job holding the bike up. See it's snugged up right here. And it's snugged in pretty tight right here. So again, from the front, Second hole back from the, or I don't know if you'd call this the front or this, but anyways, we'll just say from here, third hole back, and you got one hole left, and you can tell it's snugged up in there, and it's not moving. I'll put the kickstand down, just because it kind of makes me nervous, not having it down. I'm pulling on it, as you guys can see, it's not moving. It's barely, I mean, it's barely touching the kickstand right there. If you're wondering about the hat and the glasses change, this is day two because my battery died yesterday and it got pretty dark outside. So I want to put the bike in front of the garage with it sitting inside of the wheel chalk just so I can get a good picture of it so you guys can see that. I'll use this wheel chalk whenever it comes time to do anything on my bike. And that way I can have the bike sitting straight up instead of leaned over on the side. I think it hopefully is gonna be a great addition. Like I said, there will be a link down in the description. I bought this from amazon.com and it was on the used section or the sent back section, but man, there's nothing wrong with it. I took a chance and there was a couple scratches that looked like that maybe somebody may have opened the package or maybe the package got scratched up a little bit, but man, again, it looks great. Everything seems to be working fine. I'll keep you guys updated, but as for now, I'm just gonna have it loose in the garage with a couple of weights in front of it. Let me move the bike in front of the garage and let me show you how it looks that way so you can see the, the full picture in some sunlight. Before I let you guys go, I want to let you know one more important thing. I'm a big fan of Christmas. I'm a big fan of the true meaning of Christmas. So just so you guys know, I am running an up to 30% off on all OMG Moto gear. The link is down in the description, so check that out as well. I'm going to run it all the way. Right now, I think I'm going to run it all the way through the first of the year. And after the first of the year comes, we'll just see what happens. I may leave it on sale. I may not. But up to 30% off on the Ricky Baby shirt, the I Am American Made shirt, and the OMG Moto shirt. Again, guys, link in the description if you're new to this channel. I appreciate you watching this episode. Why don't you uh, hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and becoming a part of the OMG Nation. Keep it old school. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>
Bye, Hardy. Bye, Hardy. This is recorded, by the way. I didn't, I didn't think it wasn't recorded. Okay. <laughs> Just check it.